Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. It is a privilege today to be joined on the summit by the head men's basketball coach for the Central Oklahoma Broncos, Coach Bob Hoffman. Coach, you've had a, a lot of good wins this season. Already the Broncos are 16-2 and two overall, 9-1 and one in the MIAA, but we have to start with last week's game, probably the biggest win of the year, an overtime victory, one-point win, 76-75 over Northwest Missouri State. Coach, again, big win. Yeah, our guys played great. Uh, it was a tremendous atmosphere. Uh, Northwest Missouri's been great for a long, long time. Ben McCollum's a fantastic coach and has the National Player of the Year back and all kinds of other guys that can make plays. So we were, we were, uh, you know, we were ecstatic. We were able to get out there with a win, but our guys worked really hard and deserved to find a way to get it done. Coach, uh, you're in the middle of a 12-game winning streak right now, and and I guess hopefully for you it's in the middle of it because it's going to keep <laughs> you want it to keep going from there. You ended a 14-game streak for the Bearcats, so that's that's a big deal. But uh, along the way, the the wins that you have right now, I mean, you're getting it done double digits in every single one except for the last one. I'm sure you'll take that one point victory, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Double digit victories, averaging 19.6 as your margin of victory throughout the win streak so far, other than the Northwest Missouri game. That's a big deal, too. Well, our guy, we have so many different guys stepping up, making plays, and uh, we've had four different players score over 20 at some point in the, the midst of that. And when you can do that, you get opportunities to get separation and continue to execute at a high level uh, and, and be unselfish because each team presents a different challenge. They run different things at you. And and the most important thing our team has grown and understood and gotten better at is that every night may not be your night, but it may be the way they're guarding us or maybe the way they're taking away something. And we need to figure out who can get it done that night. And, and they've really embraced that and gotten better each time out and 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 you know it, it's been a team thing not only the guys that have scored well but the guys that have come in and play a little bit of minutes we've had some guys miss uh starts miss games and had guys off the bench that started and made a big impact so it's been a team thing for sure coach the way the schedule works out then is as uh, kind of put a bow on the northwest missouri game you're not going to get you're not going to get to see them again for the remainder of the regular season. It's just the way the the MIAA schedule worked out. Some teams you play twice, some just once mm -hmm. through the course of of the season. You may get an opportunity again in the postseason, whether it be the conference tournament or or an NCAA regional. I, and I, I I just want to ask about that. Is that something good, bad, or otherwise? You you don't have to see them twice. Well, I mean, it's, it is the way it is. Um, I mean, they're a great team. They're going to win a lot of games. Hopefully we can win some more and continue to put ourselves in a position to win the league, which we've never done. And uh, here we've done it in other leagues, uh, but not the MIAA. So uh, it's not going to be any easy task, starting with the games we have this week, number three and number four in the league on the road. So even though we're not playing them, uh, it, it, there's going to be nothing easy about the last 10 games. we got five at home, five on the road against quality opponents, and uh, our league is a great basketball league, so you, you've got to be ready every night. Uh, we aren't going to get to play them in the regular season, uh, but I know it would be a, a great game if we get to play them again uh, in the conference championship. Speaking now with Hall of Fame coach Bob Hoffman here on the summit, and I encourage you, if you have the opportunity, please consider subscribing to the channel, Midwest Sports Net. Uh, one of the players that had a big night for you the other night was Isaiah Wade. 29 points, 11 boards. Not really out of the ordinary for him, too. He's just about averaging a double-double night in and night out. More than 19 points a game, more than eight rebounds a game as well. Yeah, he is just a fantastic athlete who has skill set that – most people don't have that uh, have the skill uh, that has the athleticism he does. He's so big, he can attack the basket. He's been able to hit some threes over the course of the season, but uh, on, against Northwest, he was able to just get to the rim and uh, make it really difficult on the other team. And that uh, the more he is able to do that and put pressure, game pressure uh, in the lane, we have really good three-point shooters, and that's what's stretched the 
the games for us when we've been able to get some separation is his ability to get to the basket or Cam Givens or Preston Iman's pre ability to get to the rim. And uh, Isaiah's just been fantastic. He is, an, he is an elite rebounder and just a really good player. When you have somebody that scores like that and as, and as well as he does, obviously somebody has to get the ball to him too. Uh, Hayden Callen, or excuse me, Callen Hayden, one of those players, top 15 right. in the in Division Two in assists per game, 5.7 of those per outing. Yeah, Callen is, has a special gift, known him for a long time. He's been good everywhere he's been. High school, he had big games at El Reno High School, at Connors State. He had led the country in assist uh, most of his collegiate career and for him to be in the top 15 is not a surprise if you watched his game uh, but he's continued to refine who he is as a player and how he how he goes about being a leader and that's been great for our team and I think there's still places he can get to he hasn't yet but uh, I love how unselfish he is and and tries to get everybody into the game coach we had a chance to visit in the preseason this year, and one of the words you used was camaraderie with this team. You said it had, you thought it had the makings of of a great team. How how do you see that now, midway through the season? Well, I mean, they do get along, and they seem to really enjoy each other's success. And uh, when you have those kind of things happening with a team, you can see it grow. And uh, then, if you are able to win a little bit in the midst of that, I think you can have jumps during the middle of the year, depending on what kind of wins you have, uh, that can grow it even more exponentially. And and I think that's what's happened to our team. And uh, I mean, we're still going to have bumps in the road and some tough moments, but I think the, the character of the team has been developed a long time ago and they continue to grow and understanding that character is going to be the thing that's going to keep them steadfast through the rest of their lives, not only the rest of the season. And that's what we really bank on and talk about a lot. And and I love the fact that they're embracing that too, along with other things we talk about. Right. Right. Well, Coach, well, Coach you, mentioned you mentioned the, the close, to, close the to the schedule at Emporia State on Wednesday, on Wednesday, at Washburn on Saturday, and then the regular season, as you said, is, is not going to get much easier. Talk about the next couple of games. Well, Emporia is one of the best scoring teams in the country, country and then they have the leading scorer in the league, uh, and he can shoot it, he can score it. He's a transfer from North Dakota State. He understands the game, and uh, Coach Doty does a really good job getting him in spots that uses his skill set, but they have other players too, and they play really good in their building, and they have great crowd support. So I, I'm sure they'll be ready to go on Wednesday, and uh, it'll be a fun, another fun atmosphere in the MIAA and, and an opportunity for us to see how we respond after such a fantastic win. Coach Bob Hoffman with UCO in his third season there. A Hall of Fame coach, thank you so much for taking some time with us. We're going to continue following the Broncos as they, again, are putting themselves in a position to win the MIAA this year. And, Coach, success to you and to your team. Thank you so much for taking time with us today. Many blessings, Joy. Thank you for having me on.